It's a beautiful evening at Gander Green Lane for this evening's rear rain Surrey Saturday Lower Junior County Cup final between Parkside Reserves and West Byfleet Albion. After an opening round win over Warlingham, Parkside required successive penalty shootouts to get past Rygate Old Boys and Tadworth Veterans. The last 16 brought a comfortable 4-1 victory over United Football Club of Farnham before spot kicks were needed again to beat Walperson Phoenix. A final berth was earned by beating Perrywood Sports Seniors. West Byfleet began their journey with a penalty shootout win of their own against Burpen Reserves. Three successive walkover wins followed to put them in the last eight. Here they came up against Mottsburg Park, winning 3-0 before Rains Park Vale were knocked out in the semis. With neither side experience in a success in this competition before, who will write their names into the history books tonight. This is right-hand side, nodded on by Daniel Rolfe. Not further on its way. Real opportunity here for him to get in and into the uh, side netting. Karim Wazoo in the starting lineup tonight. He must use his pace to uh, good effect there. Comes down this half of the field at the moment. Here comes the cross that's going to evade everyone and just go wide. Keeper thought about coming, but eventually Smith decided against it. Oh, just into the area. Head on the far post is free. They can't convert. What a chance that was. Flying in there, at the far post, was Alfie Barnes. Piet might be in here, bearing down on goal, keeper got a touch. And he'll get to the loose ball in this penalty area, brave goalkeeper. So ball inside, Stephen by again, and he's gone for goal. It's uh, high and wide though. Aaron Castle stands over this, three man wall in place. Won't go for goal from here, get across. Deep ball in, trainers called it. Well held. It's the, uh, got taken out there. Yeah. Tom by Fernandez Morales, it's a good header. Wasu yeah. turns his man well, now it's three on two. Wasu's gone for goal early. They're being better playing. Shanahan to his left or perhaps Rolf to his right. Lovely build up play though from Kareem Wazu. Long ball in, keepers under pressure. He's gathered well, though. There's a lot of bodies in there. And Dan Smith has done well, appreciated by the crowd as well. And it's uh, causing problems. Keepers caught away for his goal line. Fernandez Morales is there. Head off the line and away for a corner. Good defending. Aaron Wood stationed on the post. Another good area off the line again. Not sure he got the touch. But another tremendous block from a defender. Castle delivers, it's a low ball in. All the way through, Pessingale takes a touch. Shoots, off the line by Gerardo. And does deliver. Played by Pettingell. Decent strike from distance from Jones. Right, a long way for Dan Smith to watch it. And he made no mistake with collecting the ball. Long throw by Jones. Drops into a dangerous area, off the line again. Can you believe it? And the follow-up volley's over the top from Rolf. Well, yes, Adal it was who struck it. <laughs> Deep ball in. It's in! What an impact from the substitute. Rob Edwards, he's only been on the field a matter of seconds. I think Trainer got a touch on it. He can't believe it, the keeper. Edwards ghosting in at the far post. Wonderful corner in. And the ball does end up in the back of the net. They haven't had as many chances as their opponents. But they've taken one when it matters. Stevens. Long into the area. It's nodded away. Yes, Adele. As far as Stevens. All about the shot. And uh, lined up with his left foot. Not his uh, stronger peg. Chasing the game now. That's a uh, good tackle by Edwards. Sends in the cross as well. Woods is arriving. It does reach him. Aaron Woods, great block. Second shot as well, but it's uh, a good save. The initial block was tremendous by Alfie Barnes, the captain. The trainer was there for the second chance as well. And that would have been uh, a good bit of comfort for them. Here's Woods again, though. Turning inside, goes down. Referee's given a penalty. Took a long time for him to go down. They do have a chance to double their lead. Up he steps. Drills into the corner. 
Went the wrong way, trainer. And Aaron Castle has doubled his side lead. Calm, calm penalty. Almost uh, a non-celebration. As if he's done it 101 times before. Let's see a little question, Jones. Yes, we are. Back into the uh, mix it goes. Keeper's not got there this time. Again, he's helped out by an orange shirt. Fernandez Marias. Goal was by Yesidal. Might get there again. The volley's not great. Spoons away from goal. This possession stat must also be uh, very high as well. In this uh, second half in particular, in comes the corner. Keeper's got a little touch on it. Out for Barnes, steadies himself. Shots blocked. Fernandez Marias. Oh, what a save! And off the line again. What a stop that is from Dan Smith. Going one way. And somehow keeping that out. You know it's not your day when you see a save like that. Jones drops in the air again. Yes, Adele was there. Over the top. Luke Johnson with the final shot. Well, it seems very unlikely. We're going to see a comeback from Parkside now. Rolf. Lovely back heel to Gardner. Into the uh, roar of the Parkside fans. It's over Cox. Mariano, can he pull it back? Yes, he can. Jesse Fernandez Marias again, there's an orange shirt to block. Four minutes to be added on as the latest throw comes into the area. All the way through and Johnson couldn't get a touch. Seconds to play now. Towards Edwards. Made his impact when he came on and he's in again, Edwards. Straight at trainer. And seal the game. Back into enemy territory again. Gardiner. Pettingale gets a touch. Further away. Edwards. Peart. Higgins is free as can play him in. I think he was offside. It wasn't a great ball anyway. Referee's checked his watch. Trainer away. It was gutsy. It was resolute. It was backs against the wall jobs at times. But West Byfleet Albion are the winners of the Surrey Sassley Lower Junior County Cup for 2016. They've done so by beating Parkside Reserves 2-0. As I say, they're under the cost for much of the game, but the all-important goals came in a nine-minute salvo in the second half. Rob Edwards opened the scoring after just coming off the bench. They had a penalty which was converted by Aaron Castle as well. Their goalkeeper, Dan Smith, is surely in with a shout for man the match. Tremendous performance from him and his defence. Final score at uh, Gander Green Lane then is Parkside Reserves 0, West Byfleet Albion 2.